Welcome back. Today we're going to talk again about Azure Data Studio. Today we're going to focus on notebooks. One of the very exciting features of Azure Data Studio, it actually brings a real world component into your SQL query editing experience, providing a way to record markdown text as comments, your code, and the results of the code at runtime all in a single package called a notebook, which can be very detailed, can hold many, many queries and lots of contents of the results of those queries. All the things you tend to do in SQL Server Management Studio, but in a disparate experience where you're working on a number of different files and they're not really coordinated and certainly not easy to pack up into a nice notebook and include high quality text comments, links, images, GIFs, etc. So let's go ahead and, and jump into it. I've opened up Azure Data Studio and we're going to start by creating a new uh, notebook. By doing so, you do have a few options here. You can tell it the kernel of the notebook. We will be working on an SQL a notebook, but you're not limited to that as the kernel. Uh, the kernel is uh, used when you actually run the code to determine the exact language that you want to use. And you can use Python, Spark, PowerShell, very popular. You don't really mix the kernels at this point, but there are options to embed code in your comments, which can actually invoke a code different from the kernel. But we're just going to stick with the basics at this point. Just a, a SQL Server notebook. We'll put in text, we'll mark it down, as well as add code and then, then the result of the code running all in, in the same notebook. So let's go ahead and get started. We're, we're going to choose uh, SQL. We'll start with text. And here I can put anything in. I'm going to start by saying, this is my first notebook. You can see, in fact, you get the markdown text below as a preview. If I click off of it, and let's say I'm going to move on to code, now it opens up code uh, window. Now you might think that's kind of uninspired. You have all kinds of options to beautify your notes. Markdown code is for headings. So if I double click here and put in a pound uh, space, you can see what has now happened to my comment. I can make it a second level or a third level. And if you're not familiar uh, with Markdown, there are some uh, cheat sheets that are available. I think I've got one loaded here. Yeah, this is one on GitHub from Adam P. Uh, I have found this to be very helpful. Uh, here are the headers uh, that you can use but he does run through all kinds of additional options that you have with Markdown, which actually includes a little bit of HTML markup in line, if you choose. So it, it really is very powerful. And as I say, it can give you uh, images or GIFs, uh, uh, links, uh, all kinds of, of options. You can, you can reference this Adam P Markdown dash here wiki at uh, github.com. Uh, Okay, back to Azure Data Studio. Uh, let's say that I want to add some code. I'm going to go to one of my databases. I have a collection of OLEDB connections. I can right click on this and select the top 1000. This is going to go into a query window. I can just simply pick that up if I want to capture it within the notebook, place it inside of my notebook as code. So these are the two most fundamental parts of a notebook, which is text and code. In addition to the code, you're able to run it. You do have to choose the uh, connection that you want to run this against. And I'll go ahead and uh, choose the same uh, database. And now you can see that I have the results of that query within my notebook. Now this will stay here and I can continue to build on my notebook for another text box, I can simply uh, click on the link and now I can say this is my uh, 
parameters table. And this is a table that we have in the database uh, that we use to configure parameters at runtime. This is very common to SSIS uh, evaluating parameters at runtime. So you can invoke a separate environment. So I'll go ahead and grab that query. We've got a, a parameter table right here. So I'll select that out as well. Copy that, put it into the notebook. Uh, this time I'm going to add a, a code cell. Notice I can hover near the bottom and also add code this way. And then again, I'll go ahead and run this code. Uh, and now I have the results. So this is, uh, I, I think, will become a very, very popular way to author code. It's very easy to share notebooks. You actually can share data uh, this way. If you wanted to essentially write a little bit of a narrative behind the queries that you have run. So later you can revisit them and remember exactly what your thinking is. Of course, you can put those in comments, but you would not get the results stored from the prior time that you used the notebooks. There's lots of creative things you can do uh, with notebooks. If you wanted, for example, to save the initial copy, because over time I'm going to end up with more and more connections. Let's say I'd like to document what the base connections are. Well, I could put a table in the notes that is actually generated from SQL. So the way it, you would do that, if you, go, if you look at the syntax required for tables to be in a note, you'll see there's a couple of options. This is one option, which is uh, pretty verbose. Uh, here's another one. So this is markdown for tables. But so I don't have to get hung up in the actual syntax of this. I can run a query on a table and output it in this particular format. So the way that, that would work, if I go back to Azure Data Studio, I'll uh, pick up a query. And, and this could be its own little notebook. The first query is going to aggregate from information schema the column names and put that on a single line. Then I'm going to union that, really union all, so it doesn't sort it, to the header designation and then the actual contents of the table that we're looking at. And you can see if I run this, the output gives me my headings, the fact that this is, these are the table header, and then the table contents. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that up, copy that out, place that in my notebook, but not as code, but actually as text. So we'll go ahead and add text. Uh, here is, actually, you know what I'll do? I think I'll put, the, put it up here as the original. So up, right up here, my first notebook, I have connection names. So I'll go ahead and add it to this. Here is a list of my connections. And then beneath that, I'll put uh, original content. Now I'll go ahead and paste in that code that I just ran. And you can see this is exactly what the SQL output, but now I've got a nice rendering of the contents of this table as markdown, as sort of a marker for the original contents. Later, I'll revisit this very same notebook. I'll list then the current connections. And of course, it's the same at this stage, uh, but over time that will grow. So you can see that uh, this is a nice way to document uh, the markdown is very powerful, much more powerful than you would find within commenting in uh, Management Studio. It is shareable. Uh, behind the scenes, uh, this notebook is actually uh, JSON. So you could even pull out from the, uh, the, the, the JSON structure 
data to actually move it into another database, all kinds of possibilities. And uh, I think this will not be the only video that we'll do on uh, uh, Azure uh, SQL Data Notebook. So hope you come back for more.